and welcome. Today I'm going to be making for you all green fig takari and here I have my green fig that I went ahead and cut up most of it and I just left one because I'll be showing you all how I prepare it. You'll need some water, chopped onions, pepper, garlic, tomato which is optional, some green seasoning, some methi or fenugreek seeds, curry powder, salt to taste and a little bit of oil to put everything together. So just quickly let me show you all how I prepared the green fig. And all you do is cut off both ends and I cut it up into small pieces because I find it makes it easier for me to clean. And then I go ahead and I make some, some slits into the skin and you don't want to go too deep. You just want to go just where the flesh meets the, the skin meets the inside of the banana. And then you take your knife and you just pull that section off. And you keep doing that until you've cleaned your banana and you get all of that skin off. Now if you see any green residue, you just go ahead and just cut that off. And then you slice this up into small medallions. Next you want to put up a pot to heat up and add some oil to your pot. Just a little. To that oil I'm going to add my methi seeds because I want it to start to brown but not burn. When your methi or fenugreek starts to darken, add in your onion. So just let this onion cook until it starts to turn a light brown color. You don't want to add the garlic too soon because by the time the, the onion gets nice and brown, the garlic will burn. So you let the onion brown first and then you add in the garlic. Now that my onions have started to brown, I'm going to add in my garlic. And you just want to let your garlic also get a nice light brown color. And it will not take very long. And make sure you have your heat on medium or medium low because you don't want it to burn. Now I'm going to add in the curry powder. If I didn't mention, I just cut up about six green bananas for this recipe. Now you want to let your curry toast on low. Once your curry has toasted for about a minute, add some water to help cook the curry. Now you're going to allow this to cook until the curry turns into a thick paste. So my curry has turned into a thick paste and now I'm going to add in my green seasoning or bandania. I'm going to add in my tomatoes. Now as I said the tomatoes is optional. I just like adding a tomato so when I make certain curried dishes. And now I'm going to add in the green fig or green banana. Add some salt to taste. You can always adjust at the end. And you're going to crank your heat up on high. And you're going to allow this to cook until the liquid in here dries out. And once that happens, then we'll add some more liquid to help this cook. Now if you wanted to, you could add some pieces of salt fish to this that has already been boiled and cleaned. But I'm keeping it vegetarian today. Once your banana or green fig has fried up in that curry, you're going to add in some water. Just enough to cover it and to help it cook. And you want to drop back your heat to medium low because remember we cranked it up to high. Now all you do is leave this to cook on medium, medium low heat until the banana softens and your sauce thickens up to your consistency. So my green fig to curry or tal curry is finished and you see it's really nice and thick and you want to leave it to the consistency that you would like. 
So all you do now is taste this for salt and you go ahead and serve it with either sada roti or if you eat it with rice, well yeah, but I prefer it with sada roti. So here you have it, my green fig or green banana tal curry. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick and simple easy recipe and if you want it as I said, once you put everything together and when it thickens up you can add in your pieces of saltfish that has already been cooked. So I hope you guys tried this recipe. Make it and let me know down below if you like it. If you like my channel and you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all another day with another one of my recipes. Enjoy! Enjoy.